Hello Boomers, this is Paul here. We've got a series going on of control panel features. Today's is about the Credential Manager. We're going to pull it straight up here on the screen. Credential Manager. As you can see, there's not much listed. This is a fairly new computer. It's been set up for a specific purpose. But we're going to cover some of these items that we can find here. The first one is Restore a Vault. Now, if you've already created a vault, with all the credentials that you've had before, you can click on that, specify the location where you've stored this backup, and you can recover it. Otherwise, let's go into the credentials section here, add a Windows credential, add a certificate-based credential, and add a generic credential. There's three options. Adding a Windows credential is fairly easy. You click on it, it'll ask you for an address. Now typically if you've got a network of computers at home, it may, might be my computer. And there might be a username, which could be just user. And then some sort of password that you can enter. And if I say, save that with OK, you can now see my computer is in there, modified today, and then I can see the details of it if I expand that. And I can edit it or remove it from the vault. As you can see, now we've got another option here to restore vault or back up the vault. Now you can add these manually or Windows will actually add them in as you start using them over time. When you get a login screen, it usually gives you the option to remember. And that's when you click that, that's when it'll store it in here. Certificate-based credentials I'll go over very briefly. Uh, here you'd be putting in an internet or network address and then you'd be clicking on select certificate and then it'll ask you to put in some form of certificate. What it does is it tends to stick it in the trusted root certification authorities section. You can ask it to dump it somewhere else but typically that's where most certificates go. Generic credentials, that would be something like a bank. So you'd have my internet address would be my bank URL. And again, it will be some sort of username and some sort of password. And save that. And sure enough, it'll turn up down here. You can expand on it and see the details, edit and remove from vault. That's pretty much all there is to credentials. You can create quite a list here. Windows maintains it a lot of the time. And you can add and delete as you see fit. That's pretty much all there is to credential management. Hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.